In this video we will build a simple chat app using Vue.js and Socket.io. Before I show you the app I would like to remind you that this video can be combined with other videos. So if you want to use Vue.js with any of these backend frameworks, check the links in the description of this video. Also make sure to check our website scalablescripts.com. Now let's see the app that we will build. So this is the app. I opened the two browsers, one in Chrome and one in Safari, so we can send messages to the other browser. So if I send here hi, you can see the message also on Safari as well. And if I write here hello there, you will see the message appear here also. So this is a simple version of the app which will be available on YouTube. If you want the more advanced version of the app will be available in scalablescripts.com. So this is the advanced version. We can see that we can create a two people room and multiple people room. We can send messages, we can send images and we can also use the pagination here. Also each user is logged in as well and we have a search box here where we can filter the rooms. Now let's build this app. So now we will create the frontend using Vue.js. So go to Vue.js.org and click here install. We will have a command here to create a view app. So I will copy this command, open the terminal and paste it. So we need to install this package. We need the name of the project. I will call it view web sockets. Uh, I won't use TypeScript, JSX I will not use JSX. Uh, I will use view router, Pinia yes, uh, not for unit testing and uh, no for test solution and no for ESLint. Not for this as well. So that should be it. Now we need to open the project with our IDE, which I already did. And uh, we need to run npm install. So in short, I. So while this is uh, being installed, uh, I'm using PHP Storm for this project. So usually you should work with uh, Visual Studio Code, uh, but uh, I'm using a uh, paid software you can try it for 30 days but uh, uh, generally you should use visual studio code so let's see everything is installed and run npm run dev this uh, will uh, run vue.js on this port which i will open it and this is our first view up in the next tutorial let's uh, add a template so we successfully created our first view app and now let's change uh, the template. First go to getbootstrap.com, copy the installation here and uh, I will open a new tab here and install bootstrap. And uh, I will go to the app.view app, remove uh, all this HTML here, also the router view all of this setup here and also the styles and uh, I will simply import here bootstrap dist css bootstrap that mean that css so we imported bootstrap in our app and now let's add some html because now it is a blank page so go to examples and uh, we will select uh, this one here the sidebars and uh, i will copy this html so first you inspect here and uh, we have to copy this uh, html I will copy it and uh, I will first add the div here with a class container 
and inside I will paste the HTML that I just copied. And uh, if I check our view up, it will look like this. So this will be the group chats so we can select them. Let's uh, remove uh, most of them so we don't need all of them. I will uh, remove them till the second because uh, the first one is selected, the second one is not selected but we need the second one so I will remove also the first one and uh, this is what it looks like. We need uh, also to remove the list group and I will remove this uh, with here as well and now it will look like this so still we need this to be on the top of the page not in the middle and I think uh, the assets main CSS here are uh, changing that so if I remove the CSS here we can see that uh, it is working fine still we need uh, to add a call so let's add a div here with a class of row and inside we need two divs with a class of call 3 here and another one with uh, call 9 and inside this we will add the HTML that we pasted and now it will look better. Let's change also these values. So this will be uh, Jane Smith. Uh, this will be the date which will be Tuesday and this will be the last message. So if I make these changes, it will look like this. So this is where we click uh, and uh, communicate with this user. Now let's add the conversation part. So in the column 9 here I will add border. This will make it uh, with a border here but we need it in uh, the whole page. So for that I will add here a view height of 100. And if I do that we can see that uh, we have a border that is uh, in the whole page. And uh, now inside the call 9 we need to add three divs. The first one has the ID head. The second one has the ID conversation. And the third one is a form with an ID reply. So the head will show the group members, the conversation will show the messages and the form we will write and send messages to the other members. So let's start with the head. We will add here a class of padding y to 3, lh to be small and the border bottom. And inside I will add a strong tag with margin bottom, so let's add a class here, margin bottom to 1. And uh, I will write two members here, which is John Doe and Jane Smith. And if I see it, it will look like this. So these are the members of this group. Uh, we will have a conversation here, but uh, let's add first the reply form. So I will add a class here of uh, padding to 3 and uh, width to 100. Inside I will add a div with a class of input group and uh, I will add an input which will be the input that we write the message that has a class of form control and the placeholder will be so I made a mistake so placeholder will be write a message 
and it will look like this. Now they are very close to each other so let's add some space for the conversation and for that for the head I will add the height of uh, 50 pixels for the conversation I will add it later but uh, for the reply I will add the height of 70 pixels and for the conversation it will be a height of calc function here 100 view height minus 120 pixels so the view height uh, of our screen minus the uh, height of the head and the reply and it will look like this so we have the uh, members here and we have a write message on the bottom and here is the conversation I will add here also overflow to scroll so when we write messages we can scroll to see more of them and that should be it I will also remove this base CSS and logo uh, SVG here because we don't need them and let's go to our update view the only thing left now is the conversation so here I will add a div with class of row and padding top to 2 inside I will add a, a div with a class call 6 and uh, inside of this I will add a div with a class alert alert success and display inline block role will be alert and the message will be hi we need another uh, div here so I will add here a div with a class of call 6 so this is a message and uh, we need also a message from the other side so I will copy this paste it and uh, I will cut this call 6 I will move it on top so it appears on this side and uh, we need to push it to the end so uh, we need to add here float end and uh, that is better uh, I also want to change the color so I will change this alert success to alert primary and I will write a different message so hello there so that should be it so this is uh, the skeleton of our app and uh, now let's add more functionality to it so we have the skeleton of uh, this app now let's uh, write a message and send it to the backend so the first step is to get the message variable which is a ref and the default value will be an empty string so we need to declare it like this because uh, uh, we have we want to track when it changes and I will add here a V model of the message so when we change the value in the input the message value will change as well now we need to submit this form so we have to use the submit listener here let's create here a submit function and uh, I will just console log message that value so we don't console log uh, just a message but message that value is the actual value of that message and uh, I will add the submit uh, function here and if I submit I will open the console here hello 
we can see that the page got refreshed so we have to add here that prevent so we can prevent refreshing the page so if I write again we can see hello here so we got the message we need to send it to the backend now and for that we need to install another package npm install axios so this is a package that will help us send HTTP requests so I will import here axios from axios we have the message here and uh, what is left is to uh, I will make this asynchronous we will await Axios will send a post request to HTTP localhost port 8000 slash API slash message and we need uh, to send the uh, message itself so which is message that value so this is a request to the backend I will also set the message that value here is empty so we can reset uh, the form however we need also to get uh, the response to the conversation so for that we need to install socket.io so we need uh, to go to the client API and uh, let's do that we need to install this socket.io client npm install socket.io client and uh, here I will get uh, the socket so is equal to IO don't forget to import it HTTP localhost port 8080 and uh, we don't have any options here and uh, let's wait the messages here so socket that uh, on message will get a response so this will be the message so I will write it uh, in short MSG so it won't be confused with this message and uh, what do we want to do with that at the moment I will just console log it and let's see if we console log the message I will inspect go to the console and I will write a message hello we can see we are actually co console logging that message so this is gotten from the WebSocket so it is working fine let's also show it here on the conversation so we need another variable here messages which will be a ref of ray here and we have to loop it in the conversation here so we have two types of messages I will comment the second one and uh, for the moment we will only use the first one so we will add here a v4 message of messages and uh, we will display the message here now that I think about it this message will confuse with this uh, other variable message so I will name it msg here so we won't confuse it and uh, it won't show anything but uh, we need to push it here in order for it to show so the messages that value will be equal to I will uh, create an array with the first value will be a spread operator with messages that value along with the new message so basically I'm uh, pushing the new value to that array and uh, if I write here hi hello there we can see that we are writing messages successfully and we are retrieving them via socket.io so this is how we integrate socket.io on the Vue.js app and now 
let's make our app a little bit more complex.